reasons why scratch projects are bad it has 10 likes and 3 dislikes so um uh, first time i'm um, uh, tackling the project of scratch so reasons why scratch projects are bad and how you can improve them like it's simply how do you can improve it not reasons why scratch is bad oh the first reason why scratch projects are bad is because they use the one blank key press that is for kids kids don't get like coding everything when the green flag click forever if basic stuff like this is done by beginners like i don't do this most of you won't do this if you are a pro or you have made 100 projects or something they they only think that these are the only ways to use the keys. That is true, but only with beginners. Like, a lot of you guys may agree, like, you don't do this. It's really annoying. Because to get a world record, you have to tap within 30 FPS as fast as you can, because that's how fast Scratch runs. And it's just... Yeah, he knows FPS of Scratch. That is pretty good. It's just not funny. And who will like, would you speedrun a beginner's game? You will speedrun something like made by Griff Patch or something like which does not contain these blocks he told are bad like these blocks. You will not speedrun this kind of projects. Look at this, I can hold the key down. It still takes five ever just to get him to move singular inch and then the game ends. Yep. So anyways. Now here's how to improve it. He's basically teaching us how to just change these blocks to when the green flag leg and things. That is pretty like basic. This title was really clickbait. And comments are turned off. Like he got hate I think. Although is this video is family friendly. This is not intended for anyone under 13 years old. So anyone if you are 13 years old or less. Just don't watch this video. Okay he's, he's simply giving the tutorial how to press up arrow keys and things. This is basically a tutorial, let's move on to the next video.